This place, this feel, me. I had no idea when I was playing with Roger Stallman over at Navy, not only would I end up here, that it would change the trajectory of my life and college football forever. I'm no Jackie Robinson. I think I know what it's like to stand in his shoes. This end zone was the best end zone to catch the ball in because the students used to sit right here. Caught a crossing pattern right here, broke to the sidelines right here, got to the 10, made a dead stop, boom! Blasted in the end zone, dove in the end zone, just barely making it for a touchdown. Got mobbed by the students who all ran out of the stands and jumped on me. I got, got roughed up more by the students in the celebration than I did during the game. But it was a nice feeling. If I wasn't so old, I'd be in that. <laughs> so um, I'm Daryl Hill. I played football here at the University of Maryland from 1962 through 1964. I was the first African-American to play sports here in Maryland. First of all, my mother had this burning desire for me to go to a military academy. So to get into the academy, one of the criteria was how excellent you are in ex extracurricular activities. So they all tried out for the football team. I was out there on the football field, there was a young man, and he was running side to side, throwing bullets on the dead run. And I said, what the heck? I said, who are you? He said, well, my name is Roger. I said, well, Roger, you sure can throw. He said, well, I noticed that you can catch pretty good, too. Of course, that was Roger Staubach. Sometime during the following spring, I decided that I was going to complete my plebe year at Navy and then transfer. One day, I get this call from Lee Corso. Corso says, we want you to go to Maryland. I said, yeah, coach, I understand, but you play in the Atlantic Coast Conference. It's a segregated conference. Corso said, yep, that's just the point. When the news hit the press, all hell broke loose in the ACC. South Carolina and Clemson threatened the conference with dissolving it, or at least they're leaving it. Frank Howard was the head coach and athletic director at Clemson. He said, all right, you bring that boy down here, and we ain't going to let him leave that arena alive. I promise you that. They turned to me, Corso said, do you want to come here now after hearing all of that? And I said, sure. Darrell Hill came to the University of Maryland in 1963 from the Naval Academy, and there he became the first African American to receive a full scholarship in any sport from any school south of the Mason-Dixon line. That season, the wide receiver set a single season school record with 43 receptions, despite significant racial pushback. Maryland broke the ice in college sports. Maryland was the Jackie Robinson of college sports, not Darrell Hill. This entire university backed me up. I never once on this campus was called a name or put into a derogatory situation. And if it did come up, my teammates and others were quick to defend me. The legacy and the story to be told, I think is the most important factor of the matter. I want everybody to understand, especially the African-American students here at College Park, what happened and why. And so going in the Hall of Fame provides a platform for me and others to tell this story. Having the name on the building, Billy Jones said to me, Daryl, he said, one thing about our name on this building, the movies will go along, the articles will pass by, but the building is going to be standing there for a long time. 